Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got a little unboxing to do. And this one is from the Aha Hey store on AliExpress. Uh, it has taken quite a while to come. I would think it's been about three weeks at least. Um, and I was getting a little bit worried because I ordered it for November, just to give you a little clue as to what it might be. And uh, yeah, it has only just arrived. So... I'm hoping it's as good as it looked on the website. Let's have a look. Okay, so we are diamond painting, uh, wash and wear drill. Oh, shiny diamond painting. Quite a nice box as a present if you wanted it for somebody. I do like uh, the way that the diamonds are showing up on the box there. That's quite uh, effective, isn't it? Well, it goes that way up. Yeah, it does go that way up. Okay, so let's have a look in here. Uh, I had opened the little packet first, but I've not opened the actual item up to have a look at yet. So let's see how it's all Ooh, fitted in. Right. Oh, looks like we have a bit of DIY to do on this one as well. Okay, uh, the price of this with tax and a little bit of shipping was £12.90. And pence. And it is, oh, oh, it's exceptionally heavy, actually. It's heavier than I was expecting. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, look, we've got our, oh, look at that little teeny tiny screwdriver. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, DIY to do. Uh, basic toolkit, pen, butt and wax. And get into this. Okay. It is a set of coasters oh i thought they were going to be metal the plastic oh so how does this fit together then there's no instructions there's no instructions it must go that way why would a stand go like that and that must okay let's have a look at the coasters first oh look we've got felt backing uh so it's cork have a look oh i see oh no it's cork i was thinking it was felt because it's green but it's actually just the cover sheet that's green <laughs> so you peel that off and stick it onto the back of your coasters which is excellent because that stops them from slipping you don't want to put your drink on and your coaster goes slipping off the table so we've got six of those and then we've got six little coasters and they're like the thick white acrylic and the pattern the numbers has been printed on the top so that is really good because it means you get uh, the drills in the proper place if it's printed underneath you tend to get a bit of a more of a skewed perspective on things so yeah so we've got six gnomes and they are square with little rounded corners i've seen lots of the round ones but when i saw these and i thought the square sometimes they're a little bit more useful having a square one um, it saves from falling off the edge or whatever. Maybe it's just me that's messy. <laughs> okay, so we've got our little uh, gnome with his bauble in the background there. Need a little bit of holly. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out how that's going to go together. Might have to have a look on the website and see what that looks like. Uh, we've got, oh, look at that one. He's got a little bell on his hat. And he's got a little Christmas tree. Uh, they are like full drill. They are all in nice lines. It's just the gnomes that are uh, a little bit more of a, a pattern, shall we say. But once these are sealed, they should be fine as a coaster. I say they're very slippy when you've got the uh, just the acrylic on the back. But when you put your cork on, they just tend to not slip quite so much. They will if you sort of lift them up a bit, but great like this i've not had any with the sticky cork on the back i've seen other people with them all right this one is more of a santa gnome and he's got more of a santa outfit with his little bells look he's ringing his bells and he's got his little presents there as well okay and oops this is one that oh this looks like a little girl gnome because she's got hair rather than a beard if you see what i mean and she's holding a little Christmas tree and she's got her little feet stuck out. Look, she's just plopped down onto the snow with her little feet stuck out and a little Christmas tree. Excellent. Okay, so we've got four in red. This one's got a green hat on 
with uh, little stag horns on there. So he's got a little bit more dressed up and he's just holding a nice Christmas bauble. And then we're back to a red one again, but with a darker red as well, or it may be black. It looks more like a plaid. Looks like we've got like a plaid going across that hat because it's all in little squares. And what are we holding? Oh, I'm not sure. I don't know whether that's... Oh, no, he's got a stocking. It's a stocking. Yeah, it's a little stocking with things coming out the top. I was trying to work out what that was then because his nose is slightly to the side and I believe it's a little stocking he's got there. So these are lovely little projects to do. And great as little presents as well. I mean, you could keep them as a set of six and put them on your stand. See, the other stands I've seen have been like, I think this must... Let's have a look at this. This could be famous last words. But I don't like the little screwdriver. That's made my day getting a little teeny tiny screwdriver. <laughs> Let me grab a tray so I can see what I'm doing with all the bits that you get. So it has to go. These do have to fasten together. And really the only way they can fasten is like that. So then do they, let me just put one on and see where we are. Hmm, this is different. It's just, uh, it must be, the only way it can go is this way. So the little screw just goes through there and then I'm just going to catch the thread on there and pop that on that side. Okay, let's do the same on the other side i didn't expect this to be a diy product i did wonder actually when it came in a flat box how the stand was going to measure up the other coasters i've got the round ones have all come in like these metal stands that are like the cross effect and they go in there oh oh i've just had a thought so hang on I may have just worked out how it goes. Are you all shouting at me saying, we already worked that one out? Let's have a look. <laughs> so then that will go on there and we need to get the screw through there so that it goes on that way. Oops. It's getting very dark in here. I'm not quite sure why. And this is where we use the little teeny tiny screwdriver. Oh, I do love this. It's like having a like a Barbie one, isn't it? If you've got a, a Barbie doll, mind you, it'd probably be a bit big. I think it'll be more than like one twelfth scale, won't it, for a, a Barbie doll? Is it not going in? Am I not getting it straight? No, it's not getting straight. Let me put it down, otherwise I, I'm not going to get it right. And I need to get it right. So let's see. Actually, this is just a normal screwdriver, like a. Um, a straight screwdriver and I think you really need a Phillips head screwdriver because these have got little criss crosses in them so that may be why it's not quite working as well as it should let's see if it'll just go in without the screwdriver no it's not going to oh dear Liz this isn't working very well ah now then that's better that might oh well that's lined up better because I've not put it in the uh, hole properly <laughs> Let's see if I can, that's it, that's got it. Has it, has it got it? Oh dear, how to make something simple look really, really difficult. Okay, let's put that in there. That's better. So I should have got one of my other little screwdrivers out, but I just wanted to use this little teeny tiny one because it's so cute. Look, it's trying to escape off the desk now. Okay. And then let's just get that one lined up as well. Once they're lined up, they're not so bad. Plus, as well as I say, it is getting very, very dark in here. And I'm not quite sure why. I've got my lovely natural daylight coming through the window. Okay, so now I've got the stand. And I was thinking at first, whether well, they must go like that, but that's wrong. But I think they probably line up like this could be wrong could be wrong just pop that in there just pop these in here yeah 
I think they're going to stand like, oh no, they're not because they're just going to fall out. It would have to be like that for them to go that way, wouldn't it? So they must go that way. Well, that doesn't work either, does it? Or do they go that way? Or do they stand on <laughs> They're just falling out if you put them that way. They don't, unless once they've got the backing on, maybe with the backing on, they're a bit sort of snugger. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Okay, answers on a postcard, please. How do these go in the... I'll have to look on the picture. I'll see what the picture looks like. But, uh, yeah, I was expecting them to be in, like... Um, you know, a little stand like the metal one. Uh, and then I thought, oh, they must stand in like that. But then that would have to be raised up a bit more to give you a bit of an angle to keep that sort of in like that. But they're both exactly the same, so it's not going to work. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Let's have a look at the drills. Oh my goodness me, these things are sent to try us. <laughs> so it looks like we've got lots of white because that's all the background. I may use up some of my um, AB coated because I have got a lot of those and I do need to get them used. Wow, there's a lot of colours. How many have we got? Uh, one, two... Five, six, seven, eight, and then nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen different uh, colours, and a lot of white. So we've got the red. We've got that is um, a coated uh, sparkly clear gem. So they're like twinklers. So you've got an extra sparkle. We've got another red there, a lighter red, and your silver. And like a greyy colour and a very pale pink Oops. and then your lovely Christmassy gold and a little bit of amber and a little bit of green and some brown there and a little bit of pink not a hot pink though I don't think there is any hot pink in this one woohoo and a little bit of green and then four five bags of that is a lot of white that really is uh, there's only six coasters i can't imagine i'm going to use five bags of white but we'll see and then we've got the standard black and some lovely christmas green so yeah we've got uh, some very good colors there lots of sparkle what i'll probably do uh, shall I put ABs in it or not? We'll see. I might do one without. And you, then they won't match, will they? So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. See what I get. <laughs> but I wish I could work out. You know, it's going to drive me mad now. How? And it could be just literally so simple. I mean, if that was a little bit further this way at the end, then they would stand in there. Whew. <sighs> Goodness. Right. So anyway, we have had our lovely six little gnomey Christmas coasters, which will take part in November, but also Christmas, Christmas presents. Christmas, Christmas presents. You know what I mean. <laughs> I love this. It was worth getting them just for the little screwdriver. all those gorgeous drills okay well i hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me if you've got any ideas on how that stand works let me know and if i get any answers i'll put something in the video as well okay <laughs> after looking on the website for several minutes trying to work it out i suddenly realized it goes that way sorry about the shadow so then they're going <laughs> So now I know how the coasters work. Oh dear, I can't believe that. Oh.
it was just so easy and i tried everywhere but but yeah that's how the coasters go in and then when they've got the cork backs on they're gonna be all nice and snug in there <laughs> Let me know in the comments, did you get there first? <laughs> did you realise how they worked? Or was it just me being a bit dim? <laughs> so if you've got any comments or questions, leave them in the comments down below. If you have enjoyed it, as I always say, thumbs up is very, very much appreciated. And if you'd like to join the little family and come and see what we get up to next, then if you'd press that subscribe button and the all notifications button in the corner, you'll be notified when any of my videos come out so you won't miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.